Okay guys, in the previous video, we had a look at web browsers. And we looked at what they did and how we use them, what they had, the features. But now we're going to move on to the next step. And that is actually looking at search engines. So let's have a look here. Search engines, search engines, search engines. And of course, uh, when we use a search engine, we're also learning to browse the web. So search engines and web browsing. That's what we're going to look at today. So let's have a look at what a search engine is. Okay, keeping in mind that this is not a web browser, it's a search engine. Watch carefully and learn. Here we go. A search engine, first and foremost, is an online application. It's a program that runs online. So we're going to be using a web browser to get to it, but the web browser is not the search engine. The web browser is just our means of getting to load that page. What does a search engine do? Well, it indexes websites. It crawls the internet with special search bots. I think they're called search bots. Crawl robots. Crawling bots. Crawl bots. I don't know. And it indexes all the content of all the web pages that it can find. So it jumps from one link to another, to another, to another, and it gathers all of this data into humongously, humongously huge servers, saving all that information. Once you have typed in something, and it's indexed all that information, and it's looking through that index, it then returns the most relevant results based on very special algorithms tailored to making it the most powerful search engine. So let's have a look. What does it actually mean? All right, using a search engine, it's going to go like this, okay? We go ahead and type in keywords or phrases into a search box. So, for example, uh, how do I make glass? How glass is made? There you go. How is glass made? Typed into a search box. Then, a list of the most relevant results is then returned. And here you can see we have got loads of different results coming through, all based on that search query that I typed in. Most of these are probably quite relevant. Some of them may not be, but that's where we learn about how to browse and how to use search engines properly. So we will find all sorts of results. So let's see, the results list contains descriptions, images, links, and related searches to whatever we typed in, which is pretty good. And of course, it will contain a, uh, a lot of results. So it's probably useful to know how to use a search engine properly. And we can learn how to do that soon. First, let's look at what kind of search engines are there around today. Well, the most popular one of all at the time of making this video is Google. We then have a close runner up with Bing. Okay, Bing is Microsoft's search engine. Very good for images, I might add. Yahoo has been around a long time, even before Google and Bing, and it's still going today. Can you believe it? Another one, if you're very concerned about privacy and not being tracked with your searches, DuckDuckGo. Another good search engine there. Ask originally came from AskJeeves.com. Ask Jeeves, it is now called Ask. And Wolfram Alpha, Wolfram Alpha, Wolfram Alpha. I don't know how to say that properly. You can keep trying. That is a very particular search engine for a very specific kind of search, mostly for calculations and working with numbers and things like that. Go check it out. It's incredibly powerful. When you get a chance, here is a video that I'd love for you to watch. I'm not going to show it in my video, but please go and have a look. There's the QR code. Go check it out. There's a link. And hey, I used a tiny or like we learned in a few videos back. Check it out. HDS works. HDS works. How Google search works. I made it for you guys. So please go have a look at the video. Check it out. It's super cool. Okay, let's move on. Right. Search tips. Search tips. Here we go. First tip is keep it simple, guys. Keep it simple. So instead of typing in, what is the average time it takes water to boil at the top of Mount Everest? Let's just make this a little easier, okay? Average time, water boil, Mount Everest. Bring it down. Keep it simple. You don't have to type in a million words to get the best information. Use keywords and phrases. For example, don't type in, when was the first Olympics in the world held? It's a lot of time to type that all in. Just type in, first Olympics. 
Much easier. That'll actually be a lot more accurate as well. Here's another one. How do I make a really good cup of coffee? Okay, it's a valid question, and I love coffee, but you could just write there, how to make coffee. Simplify it, okay. Keywords and phrases. All right, use quotes. Now, quotations are used when you want to search for those precise words. Okay, so if you're looking for perhaps lyrics from a song that you, you've heard the lyrics, you know one of the lines, use quotations if that's the exact word or words you want to find. For example, if you were looking for poetry by Robert Frost and you knew it had road not taken, okay, type in road not taken in quotes. Use a hyphen to exclude words. Watch this. So instead of typing Mustang, horses, but not the cars, okay, if you're looking up Mustang, you know it's going to bring up cars and horses. Rather type Mustang minus cars, minus cars. That means it looks up everything to do with Mustang, but nothing to do with Mustang cars. Do you see? Nice one. Use that one. Colon for specific sites. Let me explain. So if we wanted to search the site science.com for a specific term or phrase like atomic mass parameter, okay, I made that up, I don't actually know what that is, Shh. we would type in atomic mass parameter and then put site, colon, and the name of the website. And that's how you can actually tell Google, go and search that website for this information. That's pretty handy, guys. Use operator syntax. Sounds fancy, doesn't it? It's actually pretty easy, guys. If I was looking for information on Samsung phones, and I didn't want to have information on phones and Samsung and all of that I have to now sift through, type in Samsung and phone. I typed and in capital letters. It does help. It just makes it stand out. And I think they they put more importance on the word that it's, the, the fact that it's and, like in capital letters. I could be wrong, but I think that they, they, they do. So Samsung and phone will return Samsung and phone anything to do with Samsung phones all right if you were doing Samsung or any phones you would type in Samsung or phone and that would do everything Samsung as well as everything phone okay couple of nice ones that you might want to be uh, using as well you've got and you've got or you've got the asterisk now the asterisk means anything and everything all right, you've got define, if you want to say define and type out a word like a definition. There's the cache, you can look at cached pages, the site if you want to search a specific site, and many, many more. There is a, a URL that I gave you guys there. Have a look, okay? That will give you a whole list of operating syntaxes, okay? So, I just need you to know at this point, now that we've done the uh, search engines, and uh, web browsers. You must know the difference, please. A web browser, an application that we use to load and read web pages, okay? Web content. Whereas a search engine, also an application, but it runs in the browser, which allows us to search the internet and find information. Okay.